Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to work on the new Grandmaster quest, which is, well, Gothic Sleeps. I'm literally less than two hours since the update. Quest is right there on the X mark. Oh, it worked. Okay, the first one was Earth Runes. Oh, it's Earth Runes. Let's go. We got it. Let's go. This is the same as the original quest, this puzzle. There you go, boys. We did it. Just magically saw a trash can. All right, there you go. Much better. This is a unique part of the quest so far. It's uh, focusing on elemental spells because I brought my shadow and it did no damage. There we go. The classic. I love this animation. That's because you know, you know you're about to fight some badass demons. There we go. We're we're coming towards the end now. I don't recall this guy being this hard. So yeah, I think they definitely they definitely amped it up. I got it. Alright, that was pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I'm just so strong. Like 250 stats, man. Alright, anyways, we got the quest done now, so we can now actually kill the tormented demons and go for the drops. Let's see, there's new common achievements for tormented demons. There's killing one. Okay, there's also just killing one properly without their shield. Kill two within two seconds. Okay, uh, and then hit three tormented demons within three seconds using a ballista or a crossbow. Kill three tormented demons within three seconds. I'm not gonna lie, they they usually never spawn here. And all the branches too. Oh, really? Holy shit! They added so many tormented demons. Then I'm sure many of you are wondering this question. What is the reward of Wild Gothic Sleeps? Is killing tormented demons worth your time? And of course, outside of the uh, obvious for fun, you are going to look at the rewards, right? So the synapse drop to make the new best in slot demon slaying weapons for ranged magic and uh, melee, and also the bone claws, aka the burning claws. How good are those? So let's just quickly talk about them. So all the new demon bane weapons especially the ember light is going to be basically the best in slot at every single demon in the entire game and the only weapons that is going to compete with these weapons at demons is like the scythe the shadow and the tebow and that's pretty much it so they're basically top of the line end game weapons and same with the burning claws currently at the time of me making this video the Burning Claws or Bone Claws is actually very competitive with things like Dragon Claws, which is considered the cream of the crop endgame special attack weapon. So they're very well worth it, especially if you're going to do a lot of Demon Slaying or maybe you're an Iron Man, you don't have Dragon Claws. The Bone Claws is typically easier to get than Dragon Claws, especially because you can also do these as Greater Demon Tasks if you want to train Slayer passively. I definitely want these drops just for collection log, but also because, for example, the Amber Light would be amazing for just grinding these out. And also I can use it to kill things like Demonic Gorillas for collection logging purposes. So I'm sure Jags will always introduce more demons. So these weapons are definitely worth it for me long run. Ah, oh, damn, the shield's already back up. Oh, I see. I got to wait for the shield to go away and then kill it. There we go. Nice. We finished the other task. You get to stay on the one style for so long. So we're going to bring more switches. Oh, I did it. Equip reload. Hey, nice. Whoa, I got this thing. That's cool. Sometimes the demons drop parts of their body when they die. There is a heart where you click on it. It gives you basically a temporary overload boost kind of deal. And you also can get the gland, which gives you prayer, and the flesh, which gives you HP. They're pretty nice for sustaining longer trips. Oh, dragon arrow tips. Oof. Ooh, okay. That's nice. The regular drops at the moment is very bad. They already confirmed that next update, they're going to make the regular drops better. Damn, my max hit right now is a 59 with the regular art light. Oof. Can't wait to see what it is with the upgraded one. I was experimenting around since it's day one to figure out which weapons and stuff works best. We figure out that the Tormented Demon shield is pretty much on almost all the time. We still don't know how to exactly take it down on our own, but uh, basically it reduces damage by 20% for any non-Demon Bane weapon. 
and abyssal weapon so things like unfortunately scythe twisted bow will do 20 percent less damage so overall the best weapons here are definitely things like art light and of course the best of the best is going to be the demon bane upgrades that you can get by getting the synapse drop from the torrent of demons here and then adding it to say like the art light to make the amber light or like the new bow or the new staff that are all demon bane so at the rare release definitely get yourself an art light it's amazing here on stab like this thing does destroy all right we're gonna try to kill all three at the same time within like three seconds tasks which also includes the two but we do need to force this guy to get off the range prayer because i want to blow pipe all three there we go all right, so we're going to walk away, let it regen, and then I'm going to blowpipe all three and poison them with the Surf Helm and then just chill. All right, there we go. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I think they're all praying in range now. I feel like it's going to die to the poison at some point, right? Oh, I did it! Oh, two times? Oh, no way. It was only two times? Come on. Dang it. That's so hard to time. Oh, okay, okay. Well, at least we know how to do it now. Round two. Tell me I got it. Please, please, please. I got it! Yay! Three times. There we go. All right, we, uh, we complete the CAs. Oh no, where's my boy Nomo? He died. Oh, he died. I forgot. So we now have Lady Gunnock. What is the what is the pun behind this? I, I honestly don't even know. But yeah, we're just gonna recomplete the CAs again. Oh my god, no, what a control guys. I thought it was an actual drop. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a temporary boost. Oh, nice. They fixed the death charge. Nice. That's awesome. Death charge was not working properly the whole day yesterday. After day two, people are figuring out this special mechanic that the new tormented demons have when the shield drops. So when the shield drops, you have one attack that you can do if it's a heavy range weapon or a crush weapon where you will do bonus damage on that hit. For example, if you use a ballista on accurate, it will do 33 bonus damage and if you use something like a dark axe on crush if you hit it after the shield drops it will do 33 bonus damage so the slower the heavy range weapon or crush weapon it is the better the bonus damage so that's actually really good for rewarding you for paying attention if you are able to pull it off Oh, 81 with the SGS. Let's freaking go. Yeah, being on crush style for that after uh, after the special is really good. If you can multitask, dodging, and switching to, to a good prayer after, it's definitely worth it. But holy shit, that's crazy. So this is how I want to do it. So that way I know if it's a uh, range or melee there. So I stepped away, far away from it. And if it walked up to me, right, standard gorilla tech, you would know that's melee. So I was able to do the trick and avoid damage oh 86 oh my god i just hit 86 with the sgs <laughs> oh there we go what was that oh we did it right this time oh oh what dude i didn't even let me move oh that's my first death sag i think this is my latest setup honestly not a fan of the thralls as much prayer can be a little ass to upkeep but this time we got Death Charge and Sinister Offering, which gives us a bit more prayer. And cleans up the inventory a bit as well, so I can bring a bit more supplies. And still keep my Ballista and all that, so I like it. After a bit of testing, I can confirm that on the second hit of every encounter with a Tormented Demon, if you attack it fast enough, you are also able to use the slow weapon trick with the Crush and the heavy range weapon to do massive bonus damage and also reduce your next attack cycle so it's really worth it oh wow you see that the cooldown does reset holy shit <laughs> even on even on the second hit that's so weird 
Like, I've noticed that the shield does drop on the second hit. I guess that's intentional, then. But yeah, we are officially over 600 KC on day two, guys, as you can see. My loot still sucks balls. But I'm not really complaining, just stating the, the uh, observation here. Alright, uh, this is where the Darox is going to come in, because I do not have a spec. Apparently, Darox is probably my best auto crush weapon, so... Oh, that's such a troll. I gotta use the Blista instead. Alright, we can do it now. Alright, here we go. We're gonna use Darox on our second hit. Boom! A cheeky hit. I probably missed, so that was guaranteed 33. Holy shit. That was sick. I hit an 89 with the Dark Axe. That was cool. Let's just go for it. Oh my god, what was that? 97? <laughs> that was crazy. I hit a 97 with the Ballista spec. Huh. You can hit like 100 plus though. I, I would love to try and see if I can do that one day. Oh my god, I just hit a 91 with Dark Axe. Huh. We have so many ancient shards, so we should definitely have the ember light before we start worrying about, uh, you know, running out of the shards. Strides, have you been for a drop? Well, I went seven times dry and I took rank one Brio Fighter. Took me like 2,000 solo raids to get ancestral pants. I've also been lucky, you know, as well, so it's whatever. Oh! Yo, I got it! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, can I just add this? What? I can't add this. No. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, my God. 737 freaking kills, man. Oh, we freaking did it. Okay, I'm excited to use this, though. I am going to, you know, finish this trip. And we're going to make the Ember Light and just see how much stronger this thing is. Oh, shit. I don't even know how to make this. I will not suffer the same fate as my father and tend to be prepared for a start. I have been researching my father's notes to find weakness in Lucian's demonic thralls. Oh, okay. This explains how to do it. Let's look at the regular stats of the art light here. As you can see, it's not that great. It's got only 38 slash 10 stab, 8 strength. But 70% effectiveness against demons, damage, and accuracy. So that's like the, the kicker, right? Now, we're going to make... The upgraded version now, and let's look at the stats. Look at the stats, the base stats on this thing. 70 slash, what the hell? 63 stab. Yeah. The strength bonus only went up by like 5, I guess. But like the accuracy, oh man, the accuracy especially. Like, oh my god, you just it just doubled. It's gonna mince them demons, man. Oh shit, I hit a 62. Yo, that was crazy. Okay, I, I gained 3 max hits. From the amber light to the art lights. That's that's a lot. That's a lot more than I thought. Damn, first trip done with the amber light and holy shit. I, I want to say the kills are literally anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds faster. It really do be feeling like that. You just hit so many lead zeros with the amber light versus art light. It's so, so nice. And when it pray melees, like the kill is definitely noticeably worse. But when it's pray ranger mage, oh, amber light start so cracked. This will be my last trip at Tormented Demons for a bit. I don't actually plan on grinding out the rest of the drops right away. I do want to get them eventually, but I think it's better for me to just wait for a bunch of new updates like the Araxor boss, the new Dragon Balls, and Fall War Part Two. Wait for all of those to come out so that way I can really just have like. A bunch of different goals to do instead of just you know going for one thing as for now though i will go ahead and wrap up by testing the ember light at a few other places that is convenient such as uh, duke uh krill susaroth and demon Grillet. so i want to show you guys how awesome this thing is at a few of the notable demons so let's go ahead and try out some duke with the ember lights just one trip. Might be rusty, but I think I'll still be able to get the idea of just how smooth it is. So if it feels anything like using a scythe here, then I'll let you know. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so trolling, dude. I, I wasn't in the right style. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, let's go. I'm not used to the four tick cycle though, so this might be a little weird. Okay, all right. First kill. That definitely felt kind of just like using a scythe. Uh, I only missed like twice the whole fight, so. Oh, it's so nice for the enrage phase though, because it's uh, four ticks as well, so it's perfectly synced like this. Look, I, I don't even care. I'm not concerned at all <laughs> on this last bit. All right, let's see. Look at the times on this one. Oh, wow. Sub two minutes, even though I didn't land a single spec. Well, even though I landed a three on my BGS. Okay, so this thing is definitely competitive. Dang. The struggles. Oh, I have 51 though. Nice. Okay. Oh, I lagged. That was a lag. 51, 49. Nice. So I can still hit 50s. Holy shit, dude. I did not miss a single time this kill. Damn, 138. All right, boys. Yep, it proves it, man. This this has that capability. Definitely on that scythe, you know, scythe level right there. Holy shit. What was the speed? Okay, 137. All right, we just got back to back 137. That's even better. The slowest I did was 220, and the and the best I did was 138. And oh, 137. So that's my range. All right, here we go. Oh my god, look at that. That was so good. Oh my god, I'm not even on task. Oh my god, what the f It's so good. Oh my god, what was that? That was insane, dude. I literally, like, uh, that was, that was, like, on task or something. What the f All right, that was some disgusting RNG, to be fair, but... Jesus, dude. I'm hitting 60s, not even on task, man. This is, uh, this is amazing. Holy shit, yeah. It just feels like I'm on task, honestly. I'm literally just on task right now. Oh, man, that was so easy. Nice, we landed the spec, boys. That means the boss is 15% reduce attack, strength, and defense. So it's really nice. The the Amber Light spec itself, you don't even need like a normal spec weapon here. You just use the Amber Light. And you can also just do that for any demon boss, really. Holy shit, dude. This is so crazy. If you guys thought I was on task, I'm not. What the frick, a dragon spear? Hello? What do you need from Demonics? The Ballista stuff for the collection log, because I, I did all that stuff pre-log. And I'm also just testing out the uh, Ember Light right now. so Because people wanted to see it. Oh, damn it. Ballista limbs. Wrong one, dude. I need the frames. Oh, Sunny Shard. Okay. That was worth it. Nice. Damn, 18 mil, dude. People are buying the crap out of these uh, for Araxor. Because of the Tormented uh, Amulet upgrade. I know that. But yeah, that's, that's crazy. It's 18 mil. All right, so I hit 54 off task with the Ember Light with this non-max melee gear. So we're definitely hitting like close to 60 though, uh, off on task on these. All right, we did basically an hour of this. And is there a tracker? We did, holy shit, that's so good. We did 74 demonics in about 55 minutes. So that's basically me being on task, except I'm not. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick return on Iron Bar. We will be fully back at some point when Valmore Part 2 drops with a new boss and also the Araxor Slayer boss comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Peace out.